Hello there and welcome to Star Wars 1000. Star Wars question of the day was, Colin Trevorrow's Episode 9 better than The Rise of Skywalker? If you didn't know, the original plan for the sequel trilogy was there was going to be three directors for each movie, J.J. Abrams for Episode 7, Ryan Johnson for Episode 8, and Colin Trevorrow for Episode 9. Unfortunately, Colin did get fired, well he didn't get, I guess you could say got let go due to a uh, disagreement and it wasn't really him it's more of what happened with the last jedi for the reason why his movie did not get made because his movie revolved around the setup from episode 8 he even talked to ryan johnson about putting certain things near the end of the movie for his movie to set up like if you saw episode 8 you would see that ray and poe would kind of meet and they kind of like have like a little bit of like a spark you could see in episode 8 and apparently that was implemented from by Colin Trevorrow he asked Ryan Johnson to have them meet so in his movie they would be an item in uh, his version of episode 9. By the way uh, Colin Trevorrow's episode 9 is called the Duel of Fates so I'm going to be referencing Duel of the Fates as Colin Trevorrow's episode 9 for the rest of this video. But yeah so back to what I was saying due to the backlash of The Last Jedi they decided the course correct for episode 9 and they didn't want anything to do with The Last Jedi for uh episode 9 like they want to try to undo everything that movie pretty much did all the setup and everything so episode 9 instead of being a continuation of episode 8 it ended up being a course correct and something new from J.J. Abrams I get what they were trying to do with episode 9 they were trying to do like an apology instead of doubling down even though their words outside of episode 9 said that they were doubling down and oh we love the last Jedi oh we love this this and that but it doesn't really show that they love The Last Jedi due to them uh, course correcting in The Rise of Skywalker. The Rise of Skywalker kind of feels like one big F you to The Last Jedi in many ways. So back to the question, is The Duel of the Fates better than The Rise of Skywalker? And in my opinion, I like The Duel of the Fates a lot. I think it's a lot better than The Rise of Skywalker. And I feel like The Duel of the Fates actually makes the trilogy make sense. Episode 9 doesn't make any sense to me. You have Palpatine coming out of nowhere. Like, where was the hints that he was still alive? Because I see none of that in, in Episode 7 or 8. You're course correcting from The Last Jedi, and you're making that movie pretty much meaningless, which I know many people that did not like that movie feel like that was a good thing. In my opinion, I feel like that was not a good thing because it makes the trilogy make no sense. It makes the characters and setup. Everything that was set up in Episode 8, it makes all of that just, like, it makes no sense. Like... Ray was a nobody. Oh wait, guess what? She that twist in episode eight where she was a nobody turns out it was a lie. You know how Kyle Ren was supposed to be the main bad guy of episode nine? Well, guess what? He's not the main bad guy. You bring in the Emperor. You have everyone in the Rise of Skywalker be unbelievably powerful. Palpatine is like a god. Ray is like a god. Kylo Ren's like a god. Like the Force is like some big superpower where you can just throw lightning into the style. And it's like an MCU movie. You can really tell that they were writing The Rise of Skywalker on the spot. Now look, if you like The Rise of Skywalker, I respect your opinion. My channel is about respecting opinions. I 100% am okay if you like The Rise of Skywalker. In my opinion, I just don't like it. I personally just don't think it's that good of a conclusion to the Skywalker saga. Now with The Duel of Fates, I, I like a lot of aspects of The Duel of Fates. And I think it's the best sequel movie if it was going to be made. Also keep in mind, this is coming from someone that likes the force awakens and likes the last jedi i don't love them i think they have problems i just i think these two movies i, I like them I, I think they have a lot of good aspects to them more than bad aspects i know a lot of people are going to disagree with me probably call me whatever i i don't care i'm just saying i liked episode seven i liked episode eight i passionately dislike episode nine but i do like the duel of the fates because to me it follows upon the things that were set up in episode seven and eight and I feel like it was a good conclusion to the Skywalker saga. There are many things I liked about the Duel of the Fates, like the relationship between Rey and Poe, the story arc that Gen General Hux goes on, Captain Phasma is back, Finn gets a cool story arc that I think was much better than what was given to him in The Rise of Skywalker. Like, how, why did they think what they did with Finn in The Rise of Skywalker was better what they did with Finn in The Duel of the Fates? The Duel of the Fates really did a good job with Finn, in my opinion. Kylo Ren, I think, I love the idea that he stays bad throughout the whole entire movie. There's no redemption for him, really, except in the end, but there, Kylo Ren is the bad guy. This is like a twist on the Darth Vader story arc, and I think it's done pretty cool. And also, it's like Legends with Jason 
solo. He didn't turn back to the light. He stayed bad. I think Kylo Ren should have stayed bad. Instead, they just redo the story arc of Vader's redemption. It's just like Vader Redemption 2.0, except with a character that's not as likable, in my opinion. Uh, but in Duel of Fates, he stays bad. It's a twist on the Darth Vader story arc from the original trilogy. And I like that he stays a bad guy in the Duel of Fates. Rey gets a cool double blade lightsaber. She combines the one half of Anakin Scott. Anakin Luke Skywalker's lightsaber and she combines the other half of her staff I believe she gets a double blade lightsaber and also she goes blind in this movie which I think would have been pretty cool to see the first time a force user go blind and see how they face that challenge and also speaking of Rey her story arc in the duel of fates is her trying to find the balance between light and dark and you know how they always say balance in the force throughout all of Star Wars like try you must have balance and Whatever, I mean, this movie, in The Duel of the Fates, would have explored that aspect, and I think that would have been pretty cool to see in the last ever Star Wars movie. And finally, I think something that this movie does really cool, I think this would have been a cool ending to the entire Skywalker saga, was having R2-D2 play his hard drive up for everyone, and you would see, like, all the movies from R2-D2's perspective in, like, some sort of hologram, and I think that would have been so freaking cool, and I feel like it would have been a great conclusion to the Skywalker saga. So pretty much to wrap up, I feel like the Duel of Fates was much better than The Rise of Skywalker. I actually like the Duel of Fates. I feel like it would have been the best sequel movie if it was made, unless they executed really poorly, which is always possible. Maybe the directing would have not been that good in my opinion, or I don't know. I mean, this movie is basically not, it's not a movie right now. It's a, it's a comic or a script, or it's just concept art, and it's not really a movie right now. Also, by the way, I do recommend uh, reading the Duel of Fates fan comic phenomenal work by the person who made it it's a great comic i'll put a link to the description of it down in the comments below and i'll put it in my description box to, so you guys can read it i really highly recommend reading the duel of the fates fan comic someone turned the script into a comic and i think if it was made exactly like the comic i would have loved the movie well i would have liked the movie i don't think it's great i think it's good really good actually pretty good it's better than the force awakens in the last jedi in my opinion also, by the way, we get to actually see Force Ghosts in this movie. I believe uh, Obi-Wan, Yoda, and Luke would have been in this movie. I'm not sure if Force Ghost Anakin would have been in this. I don't remember seeing him. I could be wrong. Maybe he is in the Duel of Fates. I, I imagine they would have put him in the Duel of Fates. Because how could you not put Force Ghost Anakin Skywalker in the final film of the trilogy? And the final film of like the entire saga. So I feel The Duel of Fates is better than The Rise of Skywalker, and I think it would have been a better movie if it was made, and I think the sequel trilogy overall would have been better received if The Duel of Fates was made. I know I probably would have been more of like a sequel fan, I guess you could say, if The Duel of Fates was made. Right now, I'm kind of like, this trilogy makes no sense due to The Rise of Skywalker, and I'm sure many will disagree. I that's how I feel personally let me I'm sure many are gonna say I'm wrong and maybe people are gonna say it doesn't make a difference or maybe people are gonna be mad that I don't like the rise of Skywalker I don't know I'm just saying my opinion here I'm sure many people have different opinions of what how they feel about the duel of the fates and how they feel about the rise of Skywalker and I respect your everyone's opinion at the end of the day those were just my thoughts on the duel of the fates and I, I personally feel it's better than the rise of Skywalker so to wrap up the video may the force be with you always.